Diddy, oh you done messed up now. It seems you have now another lawsuit that is implicating you and other well-known celebrities such as Usher and Meek Mill and Cuba Gooding Jr. in all kinds of debaucherous immoral acts against underage individuals. This lawsuit has been brought on by a person named Little Rod. Now, the internet is ripe with explanations and reviews on the court case and court documents that are being shed light upon and shared all over the web. With somebody that is as powerful as Sean Combs who is an extreme puppet for the behind-the-scenes shadow group who is sometimes called the Illuminati. Nonetheless, Sean Combs is in the news again. Now you should know that this is the year of celebrity exposure, which is 2024. This year has already seen a mass amounts of exposures of celebrities who are loved by the public and society for instance like at the very beginning of the year with Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay exposing all of comedy and even entertainers such as P. Diddy and Ludacris but also the likes of Thomas Dexter Jakes the Bishop. This new lawsuit against Sean Combs aka Brother Love aka Paige Diddy, the Love Man, aka Take That Take That is allegations that say he and his son Justin were at a studio where an individual was pinned into the bathroom with the two of them and a loud echoing pop was heard. Now when a cowboy makes a popping sound against an Indian in the Old West then we know what that popping sound is implying. So take the same logic and apply it to this review and explanation the pop that was heard in the bathroom was of the same nature of a discharging of a firearm plainly to state. So the individuals at the studio gathered around the bathroom door and when the door opened it was Diddy and Son exiting the bathroom and explaining to everyone in earshot of the conversation to explain it away as this individual, who is currently on the bathroom floor balled up in a fetal position bleeding out from an apparent wound to his hip and upper thigh area. To explain it away as this individual was outside of the studio and was the victim of a drive-by and then ran back into the studio for help. Sources say that there is record from that date time stamp that the individual injured did report it to authorities as a drive-by. Whoa, if this is the truth then Sean Combs your days are numbered as an influential celebrity garnering attention from the public when all of these allegations are extremely damaging your so-called reputable reputation. Sean Combs, allegedly, also has video footage of himself and other celebrities engaging in illegal and debaucherous immoral activities of a, s, word nature. Rodney or Lil Rod has court documented evidence of some of your favorite celebrities engaging in all of these sick and creepy behaviors with one of the world's foremost quote unquote and victims of the cancel culture found in Sean Combs. Sean Combs aka Brother Love aka Diddy or didn't he take that take that is officially canceled. Who's going to buy a Sean Combs album now with all of the allegations about the R words and S trafficking and everything else. Sean Combs even has video footage of him taunting this individual before he came out publicly with a case against Sean Combs you can see Sean Combs laughing and berating this individual about not giving him all of his alleged money owed to him for production on the Love album. So this is how these sleazy individuals work in Hollywood they take and 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 then give themselves all of the credit and then take some more and take some more and take some more and take some more. This is what they do and this is no different than what was allegedly done to Rodney aka Lil Rod. So we're not even completely out of the extremely short month of black history and we get even more allegations down the pipeline. Thank you for all of your patience and time listening to this because we here at Neophyte 19 TV want to remind you that all of these things are alleged and to refrain from completely making your mind up as to the total validity of these allegations until more evidence is brought to the forefront for us to be able to determine what is the truth relatively. So until later try to overstand what is going on in our world and I will do the same. Neophyte 19 TV over and out.